Hey folks, when we were cleaning out the grain bins this year, I got to thinking I'd taken uh, clips of cleaning out grain bins the past two years and I never did anything with them. So, thought I'd make a quick video and uh, show you guys the process we use to clean out our grain bins. Uh, most of these clips are from last year cleaning out soybeans, but I do have a couple from cleaning out soybeans from uh, two years ago as well. They all look pretty similar, so you may not even be able to tell. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.
Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update here. We're kind of in the middle of cleaning out this bin. Got that semi loaded this morning, kind of in a half drizzle. Had to stop there for a minute as you probably saw. We uh, loaded the, some of the rest of this on one of our other trucks. And fortunately we used the smallest truck and we got this little pile left. Probably about 20, 25 bushel or thereabouts. But I went ahead and swept up the rest of this bin here as you can see. We got our all cleaned up. We got our hose here. Dad took that small load to the elevator and then we'll clean the rest of this out. So just to give you a little bit of history here or what I'm standing in, it's about a 6,000 bushel bin, which is a lot smaller than what a lot of farmers, farmers use. Um, you know, this is just kind of what works for us. We got about a 20,000 bushel facility here or thereabouts. And at times it'd be great if it was bigger and different, but I guess it works for us and we make it work for us. So um, this bin was built when I was a, a kid. I remember building it. And in fact, my uh, grandpa was still really involved then and he really wanted to build it oh, right, in, right in front of those baler so that he really wanted to build it right there but dad thought it would just really be in the way of everything and i think he's right it would have would have really been in the way of a lot of different stuff so i'm glad we built it where we did here but uh yeah we usually use this grain vac we've got some augers on it um, some people use sweeps um, we could probably use one in here but that would require another investment and some work as well and um, we've got this grain vac, which is an awesome, awesome tool to have. And I'm really thankful. Um, I'm sure hear lots of stories about them scooping out bins when they were kids. And so I still scoop them out, but have a little extra help where I don't have to scoop as far. So I'll give you a little tour of how this grain vac works. So we're running on the, running this on an International 1066. I think she's about a hundred horse if I remember, remember right, maybe a little more. She's she's old, but hey, she works pretty works pretty good for the most part, especially for this. So this tractor internationals, they've got uh, two power shafts. So this is a thousand PTO, and that's a 540. You can tell it by the splines. A thousand's got more splines. 540's got about half of them there. Now also there's also a big thousand PTO that's got a lot bigger shaft that's on the same kind of deal. I don't think we have any tractors that have those. Maybe our biggest one does, but we don't use the PTO on that. On well, this 1066, this is how you turn the PTO on there. You pull it back towards the seat. Kind of different than what some, a lot of tractors you, anymore you just pull a knob or uh, a lot of the John Deere's they had the one on the dash. Um, but in this tractor, the throttle's up there, up there and hey, away you go. If you noticed at the beginning of it, we ran it kind of slow for a minute. We always want to make sure the blower warms up. So basically what this does, I'm gonna walk around the front of the tractor so I don't have to go underneath the tube. So basically this is just a big vacuum and it sucks the grain out for us. There's a big, big uh, gearbox and a bell, belt under here, four belts that run a, run a motor or run the blower motor, which this is the blower motor right here. And uh, there's a shaft on the front of that that spins that and it sucks it into the tank and then spits it out the spout. Um, it does have a hydro, it does run on hydraulics, so you have to have a hydraulics that's run continuous in here and then it comes to a valve. And there's one you can't have, you can't use both these functions back here at the same time. This one here raises and lowers the boom. So you don't have to do that manually. You do have to swing it around manually. We can move it, move it by doing this and it, it moves fairly easily. It's not too, too difficult to, to move. And then here is how you, you turn the airlock on. Basically that's what starts or starts the blowing out. It'll suck. And the problem is, is if you turn it on and you suck a whole bunch of stuff in it, you can pl plug it if you don't have the airlock turned on to run it out. So that's something you always got to be cognizant of when you're running one of these, I assume most these are the same and this is definitely a quite a bit older model i don't know when they got this well lingo but it's uh made in canada i believe they're still in still in business but uh 
we did have to put a new blower motor on this oh five or six years ago maybe maybe a little longer than that even but we uh we're probably lucky we didn't burn it out we were loading out this bin actually and uh, it started making weird noises and the trucker that we used said oh i think i'd shut that down now before something bad happens so we had to scoop scoop out this bin out the auger and we had to get our auger that's out and put under it back there and put under this and uh that wasn't a fun day as i recall but got some leaky hoses here we got to fix i got a hole in the pipe there that needs fixed and we got a that's got some tape on it and needs fixed and I got some stuff up in there that needs fixed but uh we'll probably get her whipped into shape before next time we use it and it'll be uh good to go for next year well we'll give you a little uh view of the band once we get it fi finished up here yeah in the meantime thanks for watching always uh please like subscribe and comment thank you very much bye bye well, here's the bin all cleaned up. There's the traps for the auger. Got them all cleaned up and shut. We'll have to put some grease on them before we put anything in here next year. But it's clean for the summertime. Somebody could come and have themselves a sauna. Just gotta take these pipes off and put them back away. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.